Hello everyone, welcome to the day in the life of a first year software engineer student. I just got up, I usually wake up between 5 and 6 a.m. and start getting stuff done from my to-do list right away, which I usually do the day before, although I always update it with new tasks the following day depending on what I've been taught or what I feel like. The courses that I'm taking this semester are Business, Calculus, Algebra, Computer Basics, and Introduction to Programming. So Computer Basics is pretty much Python, mainly, and a few other things that are not as important. And Introduction to Programming is pretty much object-oriented programming, and we're using Java for that. So I'll show you later how I have my desk set up for maximum efficiency. Okay, so once I'm done doing some of my to-dos, I have breakfast, which is usually a fruit shake and a piece of toast. I then take a cold shower, which I'll go into later if I do such an extreme thing. Uh, some people think it is. Um, I actually think it's something very even official. And I then take the dog down for a short walk. Once I'm done with all of that, I start my classes at 9 and usually finish at 2. Although today I finish at 4 because I have some extra classes because I'll have to start exams pretty soon. Because of the current state of the world, I have all my classes online. I used to have some presential classes on Monday, but things got worse in my country, so they are all online from now on until who knows when. Okay, so I just finished my classes. It's a quarter to four. I also had lunch. So basically, right now, what I would do is I would normally work on my tasks right away, but I'm recording this video. So normally my tasks would look something like this. So this is for today. Uh, in a normal week, would look something like this. This was the past week, last week, sorry. Uh, well, Saturday and Friday, uh, I was feeling kind of sick, so I didn't really do much, but normally... I, I get quite a bit done. So normally each task uh, uh, takes me around 30 minutes or so. This is my main uh, computer. It's a laptop and it's plugged into two monitors. And I also have another um, computer uh, which has actually a better graphics card. And I mainly do use it for gaming and stuff, but I don't really do that much gaming anymore. Um, also, uh, well, this uh, setup that I have right here is basically meant for not getting distracted at all. So let me explain. So for example, um, sometimes I get really hot because of all the monitors and stuff. But I have a fan right here, which I can just turn on uh, while sitting down instead of having to go to the window and opening it up, which would uh, break my concentration. So that's pretty good. I also always have water with me. I'm not sure if you can see it. And I also have this little machine, which is which I use it uh, mostly for the Pomodoro technique. So if you haven't heard about it, Basically, you work for, let's say, um, 30 minutes, and after that, those 30 minutes run out, you rest for, let's say, 5 minutes. You do, I don't know, whatever, you go on Facebook or whatever you do. Um, so basically, um, this has uh, different times. Um, I usually use the 60-minute one, and basically when I place it down, hope you can see it. Um, and it basically starts a timer, and when the timer reaches zero, it will start beeping. I also have all my books and stuff uh, in reach, and normally when I, when I go out, I always take a bottle of water and some coffee with me. Uh, also, this is the book I'm reading right now. It's about deep work. And it's really helping me to get more stuff done in less time so I can have more fun uh, as well as to, so I can do like I have like a good balance of, in life uh, with work and fun stuff and also um, for fun stuff I mainly play the guitar so this is my amp it's a tube amp it's 
20 watts but it's very powerful because it's a 2 amp and this is my guitar I want to show it to you I hope you can see it it's it's white it's it's beautiful it's not even a Halen model and the reason why I'm mentioning it is because he passed away recently so rest in peace um, you've been uh, one of my biggest idols for an inspirations for like the past six or seven years that I have been playing so I really don't have any words I'm still kind of in shock so yeah that's pretty much it oh, also before I forgot um, this chair that, has, that, you, that you see I got it for Christmas uh, my mom got it for me she was, it was very generous of her I used to have the regular IKEA um, chair, it, which worked, which did the job. It, it worked great, but um, this thing right here, this chair, does make a big difference since you can recline it and you can adjust all these things, and you can move them forward and backwards and stuff. It's it's just. It's really comfortable and really adjusts to choose your body type, unlike the other chairs. So, yeah, now I want you to start working on the tasks, and when I'm done, I'll get back to you. So I just finished pretty much every task, and I also play the guitar for two hours, which is what I, how much I usually play and I also read um, the book I showed you before I'm now with my dog I'm not sure if you can see him let's see let's make him he's kind of he's just he's pretty sleepy right now um, I'm going to do the algebra notes now which is the last task that I have to do um, and I don't, I don't really feel like doing it so I took a cold shower when, at least for me, when I take a cold shower, it really, um, it helps me uh, be more productive in a way. I, it's hard to explain. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on it, but cold showers are actually quite beneficial, especially for productivity. Um, uh, once I finish with the algebra notes, I'll probably uh, dabble into some... Uh, audio programming because I want to do uh, a pedal with an Arduino, a, a pedal for the guitar. A pedal is basically um, something that modifies the signal. So basically it would be, uh, obviously if it's with an Arduino it would be digital. Normally they are analog. Uh, it has like a warmer sound to it but digital is fine. Uh, I, I just want to do some maybe like a synthesizer or something like that so yeah that pretty much is my day to day um, so if you liked it make sure to like and subscribe and before I finish I want to mention that this video is dedicated to a good friend who is right now in the hospital sadly and I just want you to, to let you know that I really miss you so thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye